in the world of showbiz it is not uncommon to see celebrity relationship having a really really short lifespan i don't know why that is but it's been made to look like it doesn't matter how long they have been together or how long the relationship has been going on for it's almost definitely going to come to an end only a few of them have managed to stay together you have the likes of um jacques silva and ulu jacobs you have the likes of umatala jaladi kende and her husband you have the likes of david beckham and victoria beckham and will smith and jada pinkin smith like on and on we can actually just have quite a few of them so today i am going to be doing I'm going to be talking about the top celebrity breakups of 2016. Yes, I'm actually digging that up. <laughs> okay, I am Adesua, aka Miss Sunshine, and this is Entertainment Weekly. Welcome back, it's still Entertainment Weekly, and like I said, we're going to be talking about the top celebrity breakups of 2016 married or not as long as they were in a relationship and they broke up and in mid headline i'm going to be talking about it just a handful of them there so first on my list i have the our very own dreezy and the bad girl really that's drake and rihanna yes okay we all know they've been on and off for a while like drake and rihanna they've been like headlining news for a while you know together and all that and then recently they've been together drake even professes love for her on stage openly on stage at the mtv vmh 2016. yes he did that and then all of a sudden they've broken up they're not together anymore that is terrible i tell you after all of the show of affection and all of that and now they're broken up why people why and now they're saying okay both of them are actually in love with each other but we can't stay together they said they are seeing different people now drake is with one in their love that's what she calls herself and rihanna is doing her own thing why does it have to be like that i don't know i don't have the answer to that anyway <laughs> okay second on my list is J Lo and casper smart now we know jennifer lopez and casper smart met in 2011 when he was a dancer on her tour and then they started dating on and off 2012. well in august they officially split in august 2016. why i don't know they said it was on a mutual ground though they just both of them just realized okay it's time to move on we can work Jello is actually very, very way older than him anyways. Anyway, um, people are saying maybe that's why they can't work. But well, they're saying they broke up on Michelle Gaon, they're still friends, so it's nothing, it's nothing. We won't hear that every time, it's nothing story. But I hope the mutual breakup thing is actually legit. Well, I, can, I kind of support that though. It's not bad, right? <laughs> okay, next stop, I'm actually coming back home to Nigeria. I'm talking about Toke Makinwa and her ex-husband. I think it's legit to call him ex now because she just filed a divorce in March or April this year. Officially filed a divorce from her husband which she has been separated from um, last year. They've been separated last year. You know, we all know the controversy surrounding Toke Makinwa and Majia Ayude's uh, wedding where he impregnated ex. I don't know what to call her ex-girlfriend. I don't know which one of them was ex anyways. He impregnated some girl, his lover, he has been dating for eight years. Almost the same time he had been dating Toke Makinwa. So I think he was dating them side by side. And then he, he broke up with her. That's this other girl. He broke up with her. I, I can't remember her name right now. I don't think I care about that anyway. <laughs> he broke up with her briefly to get married to Toke and then went back to her. Opened a, uh, a, a big boutique for her at Calabar. And now he has a son with her and Toke is not even pregnant for him. That's quite terrible. <laughs> Anyways, they are officially, officially over. He, she has actually officially filed a divorce from him. So it is safe now to say Toke Makinwa is now officially single. I don't know if she's searching though. <laughs> um, next on my list is Jin Aiko and Dr. Genius. He, he he was her producer he's a producer and was her producer and they they were together nobody knows how long they've been dating because when they came up to say they secretly got married in 2015 people were very surprised they took everybody by surprise because what nobody even knew jenaiko was in a relationship and now she's married how <laughs> but anyways 11 months after they got married they're separated why 
um, there were allegations of infidelity and Janaiko took to Twitter to say to make lots of accusations. Um, she's been abused mentally and all of that and then he, he's just trying to play victim and all of that. Well, Jot has come out to say she is lying. None of all of this happened. Many people have speculated that Janaiko broke up with him because she wanted to hook up with Big Sean. We've seen two of them together every time. They say they have a, a group, to, uh, they're in a group, I don't know what they call the name of their group, but they've, they've been on tour for a long time now. And so they actually caught kissing one time during the tour and after that she came back after, after the hotel and decided to break up with her husband. And people are like, okay, she broke up with him because she wanted to hook up with Big Sean. Well, their relationship, I mean, Janaiko and Big Sean are officially dating. So I don't know if it's safe to say she broke up with that, that genius because she wanted to hook up with Big Sean. Either way, I don't know, but I just think it was too early. 11 months, why? why would, what, what could be that bar that you can work it out? Come on, marriage should be sacred. You guys should learn to work things out. Come on, please. <laughs> okay, um, I think next on my list is Tony Aimako and her husband Adeni Johnson. We all know what happened with Tony Aimako and Adeni Johnson when Tony accused her husband of infidelity and so he's been begging and asking her to come back and she's saying she can't come back because she can't be with somebody like that. <laughs> Anyways, um, so they got separated in 2015, I think early 2015 or late 2015, about that time, they got separated. And Tony hooked up with another filmmaker and they were dating. And then there were circulations that she's been cheating, she's been, she, she's been cheating as well. And they've been taking their relationship or their back to whatever to social media and disturbing everybody. Why? If you guys want to, I, I think you guys should learn, learn from people. If you break up, break, if you're moving on, move, move on. If you're not moving on, get back together if that's what you want to do. Stop disturbing us every time on social media with your rant and your everything about um, he tried to poison her and all of that stuff. Who, who cares? If you guys have broken up, just break up. I don't know why you guys would break up anyway. After like three years, you guys that. And they were all lovey dovey. They were like the favorite couple, the favorite Nollywood couple. You needed to send them. And then they broke up. It was like a bombshell. But now they should learn from people like she was savage and tubules who broke up and just accepted it well they went on social media for a while and they accepted it well she was savage and tubules are next on my list i don't know what happened those two people felt like they were made for each other yes and even ice prince had to sing about them you know that song that could have been us like she was savage like tiwa and tubules that could have been us i wonder what ice prince is feeling like right now <laughs> they just killed it for him why and then they broke up and then they, were, they broke up on grounds of um, Tiwa said Tibbles has been stealing from her and, and then infidelity. You know that interview she granted with that reporter, that exclusive, very exposing interview that she granted with that reporter and then she said a lot. If she was even crying, she said, said stuff about him cheating and you know, you guys remember Edible Catering, right? Yes, he, he saved some girls' numbers, Edible Catering, some girl he was cheating with. I think that, that's the whole thing. And then, so Tiwa was like, she couldn't stand it. Um, she has to be paying the rent and taking care of the bills. So it, she was not like the husband in the house. And then Tibbs went on his Instagram. I don't know if it was hacked. People, was, people have been saying it probably was hacked because he hasn't come out to say anything after that time. He just went on his Instagram and said a lot. He even called Tiwa Savage's mother a witch saying she buried something in the house and so Tiwa is actually using his destiny or his glue or something. You know, you know how African and Africans can be with stuff like that. But it, they, they, they just practically washed their dead linen outside, even though we were not so interested in that. Anyways, I'm actually glad because after that one saga, after that one time, it ended. No social media, nothing. No um, coming to put, put all of your divorce in our face even though Tibbles tried to play that Hollywood stunt wanted to jump off that lucky bridge and then Bank W and Peter of Peace Square had to come to his rescue I don't know if we would have done that anyway <laughs> maybe they could have allowed him suspend so we could have been sure he was going to do it before they actually <laughs> no I'm not mean I was just saying <laughs> all right number one on my list is actually the most shocking of them all I'm talking about Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie. 
I had to I, I had to take a pause because this people have been dating since 2004 that is like 12 years ago they started dating and they officially got married in 2014 because of their kids you know they have six adopted children and they decided to get married okay just have a formal home and all of that and then two years later you guys are separated why would Brangelina separate people have been saying these are like the Hollywood power couple and then all of a sudden it's gone you have been together for 10 years without getting married and when you finally got married people decided to separate and give people like us crash our hope just <laughs> just like that it's not nice people have been wondering why did these two break up well angelina filed a divorce saying um she, brad pitt is so much into drug and then she doesn't like the way he treats the kids he doesn't take care of them like disrespect them and i don't know and she she, she wasn't comfortable anymore being with him because especially because of the kids she even cried custody battle she wants custody of all the six children i don't know how that is going but i think i want to cry why would angelina julie and brad pitt split that is just terrible that's like saying david beckham and victoria beckham so that's not going to happen because if it happened i'm just going to give up on the relationship and all that stuff i didn't just say that did i <laughs> Okay, anyways, that is all I have for you today. I'm just going to say one thing. If you have agreed to be committed to somebody, if you have agreed to say, okay, I'm getting married to somebody, I think you should have weighed all of the options. Whatever happens, I'm just going to stick with this person. You guys made a vow, just learn to keep it. If you, your husband would not just turn abusive or just turn whatever overnight. I, I think he would have insane traces or something. So if you decide, I'm still going to get married to this person, so why not just stick with him? I can't forgive infidelity though. I think I can't forgive. <laughs> I'm not a relationship expert. I was just saying. Okay, that's the much we can take on the program today. But as I always say, do not forget to look us up on our social media platform. You can check out our website on www.freshnewsng.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's Fresh News TV. And on Facebook, you can watch us live on Facebook at www.facebook.com forward slash Fresh News NG. And on Twitter, it's at Fresh News NG. I am a day sewer, aka Miss Sunshine, like I always say. And from me to you, it's bye bye.